He asked his mom, why are there so many kids? So I took my camera to Washington for the March for Marriage. 15,000 people gathered at the reflecting pool next to the Capitol. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical, Jewish, all cheering together for marriage. Lots of important people said inspiring things. President Obama likes to say that no one should lose their job because of who they love. What if who they love is Jesus Christ? And there was a marching band. The band led the 15,000 to the Supreme Court on the other side of the Capitol. It was an awesomely long line of marchers. But I had a flight to catch, so I had to duck out early. And that's when I saw a mom walking with their teenage daughter and son, not part of the rally. They were wondering what the huge long line of people was all about. Looking at the signs, mom explained they were marching for marriage or something. Then her son asked, why are there so many kids? Why are there so many kids? And suddenly I realized how many children I'd seen that day holding signs, cheering, and marching for marriage. It was remarkable, really. But I also considered how many young people have never been taught at home or in school about the benefits of a strong marriage, what it brings to husbands and wives, to a community, to a nation, and most importantly, to children. It's no wonder this fight over redefining marriage is a mystery to them. And that presents a challenge for us. Are you willing to explain to the young people in your life why there are so many children who would stand for marriage?